Kelly Giddish is appreciating her lengthy farewell, she says. She is remembering the good times from her 12 seasons on the NBC blockbuster Law & Order, Special Victims Unit as Detective Amanda Rollins, who turned up her badge on Thursday night. Giddish, 42, tells People, it's weird because after last night's episode, it does feel more definite now. I didn't anticipate today to feel that way. Everyone has now had the chance to see it and feel all the emotions that I experienced while filming Mariska's final moment. Rollins informed Benson, you're not losing me. We're friends. That's not going to change. I'm not going to vanish. Benson answered, I wouldn't let you if you tried. Benson said, don't delay delight, and then he said, I love you, Amanda. Giddish explains that the on-screen tears between her and Hargaday, 58, weren't just for show, proving that life does really imitate art. She responds, of course, they were real. Sure, you say. Rollins was introduced to viewers in season 13 of SVU as a transplant from Georgia to New York City who was attempting valiantly to learn from Benson, who was still mourning the loss of her partner, Detective Elliot Stabler, Christopher Maloney. It wasn't like I joined the show 12 years ago and we were like, hey, I'm going to be your closest buddy, remembers Giddish. That relationship really blossomed organically over time into such a strong female relationship. It wasn't like that, instead, Rollins had to fight her way back into being trusted after each setback. So it was very fun to play, and it kind of matches mine and Mariska's relationship in real life, Rollins said. In Rollins' penultimate episode, she also wed Dominic Sonny Carisi, a former colleague who is now an assistant district attorney, in front of witnesses Benson, Finn Tudwola, Iste, and Joe Velasco, Octavio Pisano. According to Giddish, I felt it was so simple, so lovely, and so perfect for, not only Rollins and Carisi, but also for me and Peter Scanavino. We're extremely straightforward and understated, so having three guests, four total, including the judge at the wedding seemed perfectly appropriate. And I think I tried on three wedding dresses, and the one I wore was the first one, which is very me, she continues. She says, she meant a lot to so many people, and their reasons were very straight on. I was really astonished by the reaction. I was overwhelmed and I was like, wow. They were going to miss Benson and Rollins as well as the Carissi Rollins interaction, so I believe the fans were justified in asking, wait, what's going to happen there too? What about Benson? In her 12 year career, Giddish lists the camaraderie she experienced every day with her co stars as one of the things she treasured most about her work. She also mentions that, even during the summer break, she found herself longing for the happiness her co workers offered her. Giddish laments, I miss laughing like that. Therefore, those memories are now deeply ingrained in my heart, and I treasure them greatly. Giddish spoke warmly of simply the day in and day out, the, here's what's going on with my daughter. What did you do when this happened with your kid, or, have you seen that play? How can we get out of work so we can go see that play, while referring to her unique relationship with Hargate. Giddish thanked the crew and left the set when the directors called cut. She says, I am really good at living in the moment. So I hurried home to get ready for trick or treating with my kids. Giddish is enjoying her not so down time as she anticipates what's coming up. I am busier now than when I was shooting, I swear. Since she is no longer required to potentially engage in physical contact with criminals as part of her job, she only enjoys one benefit I get to paint my nails now, so I've gotten to go to the nail salon a couple of times. Along with her husband Beau, she recently celebrated their one year wedding anniversary. Giddish says the Law & Order fans have urged her to have an open mind when it comes to perhaps returning to the franchise, but she also aspires to one day return to theatrical acting, which is what she first planned to do when she first went to New York at the age of 22. The door is never closed, it seems, in the Dick Wolf universe, so the fans really do have a role in how you feel about things, she says. The fans' reaction has encouraged me on to make maybe that even more of an open possibility. While Rollins transitions to married life and teaching, when Carissi isn't occupied in the ADA's office, Giddish has one last message for her followers. These people can accomplish far more with images than I ever dreamed of, so thank you, very much, the artist said. It was like watching the last 12 years of your life all put together in such a wonderful way. Never miss a story again, subscribe to People's free daily newsletter to receive the best of the magazine's content, including juicy celebrity news and gripping human interest tales. Before Law & Order, Special Victims Unit returns on January 5 at 9 p.m., Giddish's farewell episode is currently streaming on the Peacock app on NBC, ET.